this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the brilliant new Crafts 2 diffuser plates to get these stunning looks on embossing folders. What the diffuser plates allow you to do is to have just a strip of any normal or 3D embossing folder on your card, wherever you decide, or with the oval plates to have an oval aperture just embossed, or have just the frame embossed, leaving you an oval aperture flat in the middle, or to use a folder with a circular design to give yourself a circular section in the middle, or again, to miss out that centre circular section. To do the same with a square and give you just a square in the centre that's embossed, or to give you a blank in the centre where you the square isn't embossed. And there are seven plates in the set, and I'm going to go through them and I'm going to show you for each one. They work exactly the same way. So I'm going to start with the strip. And the basic premise of this is based on a technique I came up with a couple of years ago, where we were cutting card to make these sort of frames and these deep evered frames. We've now made them a lot easier so they will go through all major machines. We've actually now manufactured them. So each one is a plate and this is a plate of two millimeter. It's not a normal acrylic. It's the same acrylic as makes your die cutting plates. And the reason for that is obviously they need to be hard wearing and work as your die cutting plates would, just slightly thinner. So all we need to do is a standard folder. And this is through most A5 machines, which worked on the same basis of having a base plate, a three mil plate and a five mil plate. And to emboss a 3D folder, we would use a five millimetre plate. What we've done is taken away two millimetres from that so that when you add this plate to the three millimetre plate on your machine, there's only enough pressure where the plate is. So to work out for your machine, we will provide a list. There'll be a list provided in the group and also hopefully appended to this video of some of the major machines of what the plate combinations are, you will need to play with your plates until you find it. But effectively, you are taking two millimetres out of your plate sandwich to make this work, regardless of what folder that you're actually using. So for a standard embossing folder, I would actually probably use two three millimetre plates, making six millimetre, and I would use a shim as well, making it seven. I would take the shim away, one of the three millimeter plates away and replace it with the five. But again, we'll go through that on the list for you. So all you need to do is, and I've done this in satin card so you can see it well, is take a piece of card. I've cut mine to five and three quarters by five and three quarters because these are six inch folders and that's the ideal sort of area to die cut or to emboss. So we're just gonna put our folder down as normal making sure that our patterned area or coloured area is facing up from the raised section. We then take our strip and we add that to the back where we would like it embossed. And to stop it moving, I take some of the Craft Artist tape. And again, I would recommend the low-tack Craft Artist tape as this doesn't destroy or rip when doing this technique, whereas your sort of paper washi tapes will tear. We place that down and we simply then put over our three millimeter plate. I'm using the Collider. You would bring in your die cutting machine and run it through as you normally would to emboss. And you'll feel very little resistance. You'll almost think that nothing's happened. But when we open the folder, you'll see there, all I have is an embossed section where the strip was. So that's how we will work the long strip. If we want to say, use the circle. So I'm going to use the circle frame and I'm actually going to use the John Next Door Deer Frame embossing folder. This has been sized perfectly to match. So again, find the raised area, put your paper down facing up on the raised area and close your folder. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to move my plate until the central circle that I don't want embossed is completely inside that aperture. And to make sure again that it doesn't move while it's being cut, I'm just going to tape the plate down, place it down on my machine as standard, put my three millimeter plate on top. And then again, we simply run that through. And you'll feel more resistance this time as the plate's bigger, but you'll notice when we open it, 
despite the fact that we have a stag design in the centre, that stag design is missing and we have it embossed perfectly all around the edge. For using one of the shapes, and I will use the circle shape again, but this time I'm going to use it on the snowfall folder, again a new John next door one, and again check the raised area, put our card on top facing up, turn it over and decide where you want already used this one where you want the circle to be and I want it there in the center and we simply tape our shape down so that it doesn't move when it's run through turn it over and put our three millimeter plate back on top bring our machine in and run that through and that will give us just the circle in the centre embossed. You may find, this, depending on your machine, there might be a little bit of light embossing around the edges, but the main feature will be just embossed in the centre. And this works exactly the same for all of the different shapes. So as I said, you get the strip, you get a circle aperture and a circle piece. You also get an oval aperture and an oval piece. You can also get a square aperture and a square piece. And these are designed to work perfectly with your standard six inch folders or larger. So you can use these on your A4 folders. You will only get an emboss where the plate is. So on a larger folder, you could cut a piece of card, say to seven inches square, pop this in the middle onto your folder and you will simply then get an embossed piece in the middle of your card. It's one of the only ways that you can achieve this. So when we add in the strip, that is your seven piece selection of the diffuser plates. A really simple idea that gives you something completely different to do with all your brand new folders and all your existing folder stock as well. For more ideas, hints, tips and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 group on Facebook. <laughs>